What's up, Foundation? What's up, YouTube? Man, it's me, your big partner, Cartoon53. Man, I'm back again. Man, I'm back again. Anyway, man, I seen something that kind of sparked my interest on TV yesterday. Um, You know, I watched that. I watched uh, not so much as TikTok, but I watched the reels, R-E-E-E-L, on, like you go on Facebook and you get the reels and you might hit one of them and just be watching what it is and you stay there and just go up and watch all them reels. Man, for some reason, I love watching reels, man. Reels be jumping. Man, look, them, them, them little cooking things on reels. Man, I be so mad, man. Because, man, it be a lot of folks on reels making stuff that I really, really want to try. Man, I really want to try it, man. Ooh -wee. But anyway, I seen something on reels where... Dude come out the house and he was tripping on another dude that was at his woman house. I think he had just got out of jail and the dude was there. And it, it was a big old blow up about dude not want to let it go. And I, I've been there, done that. Been there, done that. You know, um, I'm going to tell y'all the story. Tell y'all the story on what happened. Uh, I'm thinking, I don't know, I don't think I ever told y'all this story. If I did, forgive me, but I don't think I never told y'all this story, especially for y'all who are rocking with the foundation now. Man, listen, this what happened. When I got out in 90, in 96, when I got out, um, I hooked back up with my baby mama one of them. So this was my heart. This was my baby. You know what I'm saying? And it wasn't so much as I hooked back up with her. You know, when I got out, I went back to her. You know what I'm saying? She knew I fit a touchdown and the whole hookup. So anyway, when I got with her, she was messing with a dude prior to me getting out of prison. Now, this was my thing, homie. When um, I used to go to jail, I used to tell women, I wasn't fit to try to handcuff them, slow them down, stop from stop them from doing what they want to do. I used to I used to have a phrase back in the day, okay, look, just don't get pregnant and don't fall in love. Now I adopted that saying by, you know, me sitting in jail, listening to other homies in jail, running their mouth about this, this, and this. And and I and I can't remember who said it or whether it was, but he was like, man, look, man, I, I ain't no sucker, homie. Man, I don't care nothing about what. What no bro do, homie. Only thing I care about, you know, bump it. Don't fall in love and don't get pregnant. Because, you know, because we gone. They out there doing what they do. They going to do what they do. You know, we can't worry about that. We can't do, you know, we can't let, we, we got to do time. We can't let time do us. And worrying about what them bros out there talking about going to make you go great. Hmm. I said, okay. All right. I, 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 I go with that. And that's what I had adopted. You know what I'm saying? I tell, you know what I'm saying? Like, like me, uh, old girl from a Trey gangster, Trina, man, I, you know, me and her, we used to have a thing, man. They'd been times back in the day. I call, oh, oh shoot. I might call and a dude answer the phone. I'm like, Hey, you know, let me speak to Trina, man. Who are you? Cause I'm cartoon from Avalon. Oh, well I'm whoopty band from wham, wham, swam. All right. Cause you know, let me holler at her real quick though. Huh? And I'll be like, oh, that's your new, you know, that's a, uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? We just kicking it, you know, you be out pretty soon. I'm like, I bet I ain't tripping. And we'll talk, I ain't worried about it. Now, here it is, this incident right now that I'm finna tell you about. Sometimes dudes do not want to let go. Sometimes dudes do not want to let go. They do not want to let go. They do not want to let go. And that's the chance, uh, you as a woman are going to take when you start messing with dudes and you know what I'm saying? You expect for them to understand that they got to go when your man get ready to come home. Now, of course, y'all started out the right way. Y'all might, you know, go to talking to a dude and you know, you already know that you got a hall pass from your dude that's locked up. So, you know, he didn't let, you know, he, if he liked me, he didn't let you know, hey, man, do what you do. I ain't tripping, but now when I get ready to touch down, whoever there got to go. That, you know, that's how it go. That's how, you know, boom. So, look, but now the thing is, this is the catch-22 in it. 
a lot of times you will get with a dude and you might be messing with him uh, five months, you know what I'm saying, five, three months, six months, whatever, a year, a couple of years, however, however the long the time is um, that you mess with this cat, you cannot dictate how his feelings and emotions will turn. Now here it is, y'all been y'all been rocking like rock stars together for seven, eight months. Now you know you done did your little county jail lid or you know what I'm saying, whatever. Now you get ready to come home from, from jail. And oh, and you done let you done let the dude know from the giddy up, all right, look, I'm gonna go ahead and fool with you. But now I'm letting you know now I ain't finna leave my, my man. When he get ready to come home, you gotta go. Now, of course, dude, all dudes gonna do the same thing, especially if they wanna get in your drawers. Oh, um, all right, baby girl, you know, I ain't tripping, you know, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Whenever, whenever cuz or, you know, whenever blood get ready to come home, however, you know, whatever they may be, um, I'm just going to get out the way. We just going to do a little something now. All right, cool, cool. But now here it is, two, three months down the line, you know what I'm saying? Y'all been playing um, soccer in the sheets. Now he done got caught up in his feelings and emotions. Now he done fell in love. He don't want to go. He don't want to leave it alone. Same thing when you go to messing with a female and you let her know from the giddy up, hey, look, I got a woman, man. You know, we could do this and this and this. But uh, if you go get serious, we ain't going to get serious. Oh, no, baby, I ain't going to get caught up. I ain't going to, no. We just having fun and blah, 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 blah. Now she in love. Now she now she, now she, she trying to call your mom, your, your, your girl on the phone. Now she all on the front porch. Now she ready trying to fight her because she want you. And want you to leave her. So, you know, it go to say it go back and forth, man, tit for tat. So anyway, here it is. My uh my girl, my baby mama. She go to messing with a guy. And um, I'm a, I'ma say his name. Um, dude named Big Bob from Q102 East Coast. She go to mess with him. Now she messed with him, she messed with him. How long they had been messing around, I don't know. I didn't know when I first got out, but she told me, you know, as conversations take place, she said uh, she had been messing with him for a few months. She said she had let him know from the giddy up, I right, look, when my dude get out, you got to go. He agreed. Hmm. So now I'm gone. They doing their thing. She didn't, she didn't, uh, she didn't never tell me about him, no. While I was in, she never told me about him. Um, then, you know what I'm saying, to play the devil's advocate. There's no telling what she told him. You feel what I'm saying? Ain't no telling what she might have told him. Now, from what she told me, she told cuz from the giddy up, look, I got a dude in jail. He be out soon. You know what I'm saying? We can rock for a minute. But now when he get ready to touch down, you got to go. And he agreed with it. So what I would always tell her or tell women, hey, look, at least a month before I touch down, you got to run these dudes off. She waited two weeks, I think, if I can remember right. So anyway, um, he's no, he's no longer in the house. He's gone. He's gone. It's over with. She told him, hey, look, it's over with. Bang. He did not want to accept that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Did not want to accept it. So bang. I touched down. So now here it is. I touched down. At the at the time, at the time, where was we staying? In apartments or in Carson? In the part, I think we was in the apartment still. But anyway, I touched down. So now we laid up. I I've been out now about maybe ten days, maybe ten days to two weeks. Maybe 10 days to two weeks, something like that. But anyway, so now one night we kicking it in the bedroom. We had, we in the bed and the phone ring. So when the phone ring, she answered and I'm like, I ain't tripping. I don't know who called it. Don't care. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking at TV. She started arguing though. And I could tell from the argument, she's arguing with another dude. So I'm like, man, what the heck? What's going on with this? So I turn around, I go to look at and if I can remember right, she's saying stuff like, uh, remember now this happened back way back in 1996. She's saying stuff to the to the guy, um, why you keep calling my phone? I told you it's over with. We ain't doing nothing no more. 
my man is home and blah, 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 blah. This day I'm looking, so I'm looking like, I ain't cut what, you know? So I'm in the background, like, I, you know, immediately, you know what I'm saying? I'm an Aries. I'm going to speak up. Bear, Aries do not bite their tongue. For y'all out there who don't know about an Aries, you better, you better ask somebody. We, 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 we full speed ahead, zero to a hundred real quick. So I asked, I'm like, I'm like, who is cuz? Who is this on the phone? Who you talking to? So she go like, man, I snatched the phone. Boom. I'm like, hello. So the voice on the end, like, man, hello. I'm like, cuz, what's up, man? Who are you? What's up? So he say who he is. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm Big Bob Q102 East Coast. Woo, 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 woo. So I'm like, well, what's up, cuz? What you calling here for? Oh, man, I'm, call, I'm calling her, man, because she tripping. I'm like, tripping how, cuz? Man, we was messing around, man. We was doing this, doing that, da, 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 da. I'm like, oh, okay, my mind. I'm like, okay, this what this is. This what this is. I say, cuz, check this out. I'm, I don't know you. You don't know me. I say, but now, whatever you and old girl had going before I touched down, I say, homie, that's over with now, cuz. That's over with. Uh, She ain't doing nothing with you no more. I'm out. And I'm quite sure she told you a while ago that it was OV. So she like, man, I told him a month ago. Or was it two weeks? I think two weeks. I told him two weeks ago. A month ago, I told him it was over with. Now, when she said two weeks ago, she mean it two weeks prior to me getting out. So it had to, so we're gonna say a month ago. I've been told him, but now he don't, you know, he keep calling, he don't want to take no for no answer, and blah, 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 blah. I'm like, hey. I'm like, all right. So, um, I'm telling cuz, I'm like, hey, look, homie, hey, man, it's over with, man. You know, you know, whatever y'all was doing, y'all did it, homie. I'm not, I'm home now, cuz. You might well, you know, find find you somebody else. This is a wrap. It's over with. No, cuz, she be tripping, man, and woo, woo, woo. I'm like, all right, cuz, well, you ain't got to worry about her tripping no more. Click, I hung the phone up. Uh, He called right back. So I answered the phone. I'm like, what's up? He like, yeah, couple, like, like what I'm saying. I click, I hang the phone up. Keep calm, I'm finna argue with you about my lady, homie. You know what I'm saying? If 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 a woman tell you she threw with you, then she threw with you. What the heck? If a female tell me, man, I'm through with you. All right, cool. I'm not finna run behind her. I'm not finna uh, 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 stalk her. I'm not finna do none of that. You don't want me? Bet it up then. I don't want you. Straight up. What? Anyway, WTF. So anyway, the next morning, we jump in the car. I had to come. I had to go to mom's house. Remember I said, now mom stayed way down on Vernon. So I'm coming down Avalon. We coming down Avalon. And as we cross the light on Century, it's a, uh, I believe on Century and Avalon, if I can remember right, or... No, where was that? It was on a hundred. It was it was somewhere right there, but it was a little back then. I can't re exactly remember. It was right there in Q one hundred two hood. It was a, it was a I think a Winchell's Donut on the corner, and a little liquor store right there that they hung in front of all the time. That was a liquor store they would go to. So we coming. I ain't tripping. We coming down Avalon. She point though. She say, look, uh, there we go right there. And th then when I look, it's about it's it's several dudes. But I see the dude she talking about. And um, I'm tripping like, because the name, the dude name was Big Bob, but he wasn't no big old dude. So as soon as, you know, boom, I'm crossing the light or whatever, I bust a left. Whoop, right up in the um in the parking lot of the little donut stand. So she like, what you doing? What you doing? I'm like, I'm finna holler at cuz. You know what I'm saying? We the, we, you know, we talking on the phone. All right, now I see you. You, you know what I'm saying? We finna holler face to face. So you can see me, I can see you. We can get us understanding on this situation. So bam, when I pull up, he see her in the passenger seat. He coming to the car. So as he coming to the car, boom, I bounce out the car. So when I bounce out the car, I come around the back end of the car. He coming up to the car talking crazy as I don't know what. You know what I'm saying? Uh... I, if I can remember right, I remember I think the words I heard him say, like, yeah, B, you know, yeah, B-I-T-C-H, I don't know why you tripping like this. I'm like, what? So I'm like, man, fool, you done called my bro to be in front of me? So I'm like, hold up, cuz, hold up, cuz, cuz, she got nothing to do with this, homie, this is me and you. Let me holler at you. So we like, yeah, well, what's up? 
I say, cuz, check this out. That's mine right there, homie. Whatever y'all might have had before then, I don't know, cuz, but that's over with. So now, the dudes that were standing there, they starting to come. They starting to come. And um, it dawned on me. I'm like, hold up, Tune. You out of pocket. Back then, at that time, I was I, I was out of pocket. You know what I'm saying? I was I was not in in a in a friendly environment for me. So I say, hold up, cuz I say, hold on. I say, let me park my car real quick. I'm gonna come holler at you. I'm gonna be park my car. So I believe he might have been a little drunk. When I jumped back in the car, instead of me parking it, I skirted out. So she like, what's up? I'm like, nah, we gonna oh, you know now. Nah, uh uh. I say, I'm gonna come back and holler, at cuz. You know, we're going to talk. I'm going to come back. We're going to talk. But now, I ain't had nothing on me. I wasn't coming back. I wasn't. No, I wasn't finna. I'm, no, I'm in. I'm in. I'm out of pocket. And I'm, I ain't got nothing on me. I'm not finna sit here and hold no conversation. Especially if I see the conversation has potential to go left. And it looked like it was finna go left. So when I leave, you know, I shoot back to the set. I call the homie. Now, the cold part about it, out of all homies that call, is my homie y'all been seeing a lot on YouTube lately, my homie Lil Avalon Blue. I get it, cuz. I'm like, so I'm like, hey, cuz, you got this, this, and this. He's like, yeah, what's up? I say, I'm on my way over there. So I go to the homie house, and I'm like, yeah, cuz, we're gonna need that right there. He's like, cuz, what's up? So I give him the plate on what's happening. He like, it, we fit, no, no, cuz, I said, you know, this ain't got nothing to do with no gang stuff, period. For me, you know, as far as I'm concerned, at least it right now it don't. I say this had this is some personal stuff. Me and old boy have to holler, you know, talk about so we get understanding on it. It's just I'm not finna go back over and they set butt naked. You know what I'm saying? You already you already know the situation with us and them, so I ain't finna go over there butt naked. So he be like, I bet it up, cub, bet it up. So boom. I'm like, look, you jump in the car. No, um, you jump in the car with me, put that in the car with her. You know what I'm saying? Okay, because the one time ain't gonna trip on her. They might trip on us. He like, you right, cuz, you right. So, you know, we go, we we, we hook, hook, hook up everything we had to do, hook up everything we had to do. And we going back, we going back. Um, I'm coming down San Pedro this time, though. So when I get when I get to San Pedro, I get to 102nd and San Pedro, I bust a left going toward Avalon. So when I bust the left, um, my girl, she in the car in back of me. Um, it's a house on the corner or like two, three houses off the corner, something like that. It's a gang of dudes hanging out. Gang of dudes, about, it's about nine, ten dudes on the porch. You could tell that's them. So now when I bust the corner real slow, old boy standing out there. You know what I'm saying? Big Bob, he out there. He see me. So I park, bang. You know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? My girl, she parked behind me. So when I get out, Blue, the homie Blue get out. He go back to the car with her. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know why, why he went back. But anyway, so when I get out the car, so I tell Cut, I say, Cut, let me holler at you. Um, He had a, uh, a old English. He had the 40 ounce. Big, big, the big bottle. He drank, he drank, getting drunk off that eight ball. So he like, yeah, Cut, yeah, Cut. So I say, come on, homie, let's, 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 let's go down the street. Because, you know, I'm knowing, I'm knowing... I tell y'all all the time, if you pull a person and talk to them and it ain't a crowd where they got to try to put on a show in front of their homies or try to, you know what I'm saying, have to act like they on stage and all that, you get a different person. But now when you try to you try to holler at a person in front of a bunch of different people, especially if it's they homies, they're going to put their Superman suit on. You and, and you know what I'm saying? And when that happens, it forces you to respond in the same type energy, and now you don't know where it's gonna go from there. So, you know, I want to pull him away from his homies, and you know that I have to act tough element type, get down. So we went down the street toward like in the middle of the block. I'm like, cuz, check this out. I'm, I say, oh girl, I say, now look, she told me we talked. She told me that y'all was messing around. Y'all had a little thing. I said, she also told me that she let you know that um, when her man get ready to touch down, it's OV. He was like, no, cuz, but she playing games, though, cuz, she playing games. 
So the thing was, she was not playing games. What it was, he had he caught feelings. He had fell in love. He don't want to let her go. He don't want to leave it alone. But you got to leave it alone, homie. You know what I'm saying? Shoot. It's it's a Rap City chick. It's OV. That one there is off limits now. So, you know, we talking, we talking, we talking. I never forget uh when we we um we standing there and a car pull up. It was a uh cutlass or something like that. It's four, they four deep, they four deep in the car. Big light skinned dude driving. Big old light skinned dude driving. Um he was from his set because when he pulled up, he was like, Cuz, what's up? You all right? You you straight homie, you good? So Big Bob turned around, he told him, he like, yeah, cuz, it's cool, it's cool. So they looking, they looking, they like, yeah, all right. They were 4D. Um, I, you know, I found out later on that the dude in the car, that driver was uh, one of their homies named JR. JR from the Cute. I don't know, I don't know if he's still around. If he is, shout out to JR from Cute 102 East Coast. But anyway, so um, we talking, we talking, we talking. Came to an understanding. It wasn't no thing, you know what I'm saying? Cause, you know, we. He, he, you know, he had to realize, man, he had to leave that one alone, find you somebody else. It's a 50 million of them out here in the, in the deep blue sea. You know, you'll find you something, but, you know, I'm back now. Cuz got to let that go. So he like, yeah, yeah, man, yeah, yeah, ain't no thing, ain't no thing. And um, I'm like, okay, so I end up leaving. I end up leaving, jumped in the car, end up leaving. Um, And I seen him again, come to find out. My girl had got me a job working somewhere at a warehouse. And I went one day, I think. And I remember when I was going, that one day that I went, he was working there too. So come to find out, she had got him a job there. And um, <clears throat> like I tell you, I ain't never had no job before till now. I went there that one day and, and, and left that day. Matter of fact, I didn't even stay there but an hour. and ended up turning around leaving. Man, bump this job. Man, bump this. But yeah, man, um, we never we never had another problem after that though. Um, but that's how things can happen, man. Um when you you know you 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 when you dealing with a woman and your and your feelings and emotions get caught up, or when a woman is dealing with a man and they feelings and emotions get caught up, a woman once a woman feelings get caught up, whatever you have going on in your marriage or whatever else, she gonna mess that up. She gonna mess it up. I don't care. She gonna in this day and age, she going to Facebook to, with 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 all the rest of her little ratchet friends. They finna track your woman page down. They finna spam her page with pictures of you and her and all this. She gonna be trying to fight her and call her out all on the internet and trying to get her phone number and all that old crazy stuff. Man, you laid up in the bed, sleep. She got the phone taking pictures of you at her spot so she can send your girl when she get mad at you. She can send your girl the pictures of you and in her bed at her spot. You know, all that old ratchet crazy mess, man. And on the same token, when a dude get caught up over a female, they not gonna they not gonna do nothing like that. At least I would hope they wouldn't. In this day and age, you never know though. <laughs> in, in, in in 2024, the dudes gonna act just like the women. So you know, hey, it is what it is. It was what it was. It's gonna be what it's gonna be. Or see, you know. But anyway, so um, but they not gonna want to lead a lead a woman alone. You know what I'm saying? They gonna want to fight and do all the rest of the other crazy mess. It's just a big old hassle. That's why I don't cheat on mine or even go through them type uh, ups and downs and turns around. But yeah, man, that that was that was something that what the heck? What the heck was that? Oh, the TV got a light. I'm like, what? But anyway, but yeah, that was that was a story, man. That something happened to me, man, back in the day, back in the day. Anyway, man. In the meantime, hey, first off, man, <clears throat> I want to give a shout out to the foundation again for y'all support, man. Y'all got y'all y'all rocking with me, man. Let's 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 push this thing to a hundred thousand. Y'all know that's that's my my first goal was ten thousand. We left that goal months ago. Now the next goal is a hundred thousand. Y'all help me get to this hundred thousand, man. Tell your friends, your family. Tell whoever you can tell, man. Go check this dude Cartoon Five Three out, man. Uh, subscribe to his channel. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's get this thing to a hundred thousand, man. I want that plaque. You know what I'm saying? I just want to write on it. You know. But anyway, man. I thank y'all for y'all support, Foundation, man. It's much love, man. All the way around the board, man. I thank y'all for rocking with me, man. So anyway, man. It's me, your big partner, Cartoon Five Three, man. I represent the gangsters, <laughs> the Avalon gangsters, to be exact, homie. Peace. I'm out.
Two, one, man. Right? 